you know television when you switch off just in the screen not it is not coming touch tv is not coming but the waves are here no our body is like the box of the television the spirit is like the waves yeah and whenever we meditate we do satsang the vibration reaches to other plane also to those who have crossed over it makes them also peaceful many times there are goals within our reach still somehow we fail to achieve them how to ensure that we reach our goals guruji we keep our focus on that and keep working never mind once twice thrice four times we should continue you see to achieve anything in the world it needs effort ha huh? to achieve anything in the world any pleasure or any material thing you want to achieve it needs effort number 1 second it needs energy third skill and fourth providence luck fifth your willingness to work for it these five things are essential <laughs> so you put your effort and believe you have luck and then learn the skill and how to en- enhance your energy and skill that is what is a meditation yeah when you do meditation chanting raise the positivity in you it increases the skill energy and luck also but in spite of all three having these three you have to put effort and then time it will take its own time to, to fructify when there are friends around us who are more successful it makes us feel shy and with low self esteem no no <laughs> a different type of success level of success time for success don't mind about it see everyone as a human being and feel free yeah don't have to take pride in success anyone takes in pride in success is a fool because he doesn't know his self his soul is so much more powerful than a little happening a little incidents where they feel oh some success has come and if someone walks like oh i have been very successful you should be compassionate on them yeah life is much larger than failure and success life is much larger than birth and death we are much beyond them all hmm got it if you have this strength if you can understand this knowledge then you will walk like a king nobody can shake you Mm. see life from a bigger picture so many lifetimes we have been here so many times we have had success so many times we had failures and life still goes on this is all simply one chapter one act of a movie it's not the end of it 
This is just one show is finished, then the show comes, show begins. It's like a TV serial. It doesn't end, it goes on. So, today someone is successful, and they enjoy today's success. But you never know whether the success will stay like that forever. So success or failure, just don't mind. See, you are the Self, which is unblemished, pure, eternal. Eternal. Dear Guruji, why do some circumstances keep repeating in my life? in spite of my being aware of them? How do I stop them from repeating? You wanting to stop it, have a strong will for that, then you'll keep stopping. Don't feel yourself very weak. No. Know that you have the strength to stop what you don't want to happen. Dear Guruji... Prayer, prayer will help and then pray. Any other question from here? Yes? Am I lucky? What do you think? <laughs> yes, no? Yes, yes. You are right, I am right. Very good. We all, everyone here is very lucky. You must simply remember that I am lucky. Yeah? Everyone should remember I am lucky. Mm. Well, if you realize you made a wrong decision, then get out of it. <laughs> see, you have to see, don't ask me an indirect question and expect me to give you a direct answer. <laughs> okay, direct question, direct answer. Otherwise, you will ask me indirect question, I will give you a direct answer. You will apply it in an in indirect manner, it will be confusion. So, if, if you see you have made a wrong decision, you have to weigh the pros and cons. Should I continue on this all my life? Or should I change? If I change, what is the loss that I will face? Huh? What is the problems I may encounter? You have to weigh it. You have to see how much the change will make you better or if the change is going to make you even more problematic, better don't change. Just carry on with whatever you have wrong decision you made. You know? Sometimes you can't change. You have made a wrong decision. You have to go. You know. You can't think of being a bachelor after you have had a kid. <laughs> Once you have a child, then you have to be a father or mother and continue. Then no point in regretting the past. Similarly, you wanted to be a doctor, but you became an engineer. And after 25 years of serving as an engineer, you can't say, no, I made a wrong choice. I should have been a doctor. There's no point. Now you can't go back to, a, to study in the school and become a doctor again. You are an engineer, continue in that direction. Got it? So you have to weigh the pros and cons. Huh. But if you think you made a wrong choice, you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, you are not yet married, you made a wrong choice, then there is still time for you to change. But you have made a choice, you have a child also, now look for the child's welfare. You can't just drop in the middle and go, child needs more attention. And then move on. And if it becomes totally impossible, go to a marriage counsellor. 
and does nothing seem to work, no point in living in misery, go separate ways. So there are so many options in life like that. You have to take a decision, weigh the pros and cons. Okay.